What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another ApparitionNet Studio video. So yeah, I haven't done an ApparitionNet Studio video in a long time, I want to cover some of the new updates that we've released over the past few weeks, including the latest one that we only released a few days ago. So yeah, there's been quite some quite significant updates, I want to show you guys some of the new features. Because it's been a while, if you're unfamiliar with ApparitionNet Studio, you don't know what it is. It's basically an all-in-one mod tool, it's the biggest all-in-one mod tool for JTAGs and RGH consoles, uh, biggest RPC tool anyway, uh, for JTAGs and RGHs, um, and it's a paid tool, costs $25, it includes all CODs, Halo, Valve games like Left 4 Dead and Team Fortress, CSGO, BF3 and uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 mods, a ton of console tools like Dash Launch Editor, Console Manager, File Manager, Module uh, Injector, Achievement Unlocker, all kinds of stuff. So it's a pretty big tool basically is what I'm saying. So and if you if you buy a copy of Apparition Net Studio you also get a free one week trial of XB Online Stealth Server which is the stealth server I'm uh, on right now. So yeah quite a lot of cool stuff you get with this. So okay so we've changed the quick launcher. This is was in an older update but I never covered it so it now uh, automatically downloads the covers for your games when you add the when you add a game into the quick launcher from the file manager, it will detect what game it is and it will automatically download the image file for it. Um, some games, especially if it's a modified XCX, it won't recognize, so it will just use a default image. But for ones that it can recognize, it will download the image for them. So let's go ahead and double click BO2 and that will start the game. So the first new thing that we've added, uh, which is in the most recent update, is of course Black Ops 2 all client stats. Okay so I went ahead and reset my stats here and I've got somebody in the game here to show that uh, all client stats works. So what you want to do is invite whoever you want in the game, you know invite a bunch of people into a private match, that's how the all client stats on here works. So if you look at my barracks you can see that I have no calling cards unlocked and I am just you know level 1, 0 prestige. And then we'll go ahead and start the match and I will set the stats of myself and uh, the other client who's in the game here and we'll see that uh, the all client stats works. Okay so here we go, game started up, there we go, we're both level 1, 0 prestige. So the all client stats is located of course in client modifications, then you fetch clients which grabs okay, well, all the players in the line. game, then you select the all client stats uh, tab and then what we're going to do is basically type in the prestige so I'm going to set myself to 10th prestige I'll do legit stats uh, but I'll set the kills to 1337 and I'll set all stats on myself so it takes a few seconds and there we go that's done then I'll do the same on the other client in the game here set all stats done and then I'll also do unlock titles you can't do full unlock all or weapon stats or stuff like that you know there there is limitation to to the all client stats for this, uh, but obviously we have we still have the stat spoofer if you want to go all out and set one person's stats like everything, uh, then you can you can still use the stat spoofer, but to set a bunch of people at once you can use all client stats. So let's go ahead and set uh, this guy's titles unlock titles as well. And we won't bother doing zombie stats, but that is another option. You can also do league stats as well. Uh, and if you if you check the all clients box, then anything you select will be applied to every single client in the game. So that's it done. So all we have to do now is end the game. And when we go back to the lobby, we should now, uh, both our stats Stand should down. be set to pretty much the same. So there we go, his stats have been set, 10th prestige level 55, same as mine, and if I head to barracks, calling cards, you can see it's unlocked all the titles, which were previously locked, and you can do that to any client in the game, and also if we have a look at the combat record, we'll see that, uh, you know, there's our 1337 kills. So yeah, that's basically it, that's all client stats in Black Ops 2. So another thing we've added to Black Ops 2 is a loadout editor. This is just a temporary thing that you can do when you go into a game to get more weapons and, and perks. 
So you have to do it, you know, have to apply it every time you go into a game, unfortunately. Otherwise, it will reset. There are ways that you can kind of customize this so that it doesn't reset your class, but, you know, you're not going to be able to, you know, have four weapons, which is kind of like what this allows you to do. So basically, I can put, you know, for perk one, if we look at my perk one, normal class, we'll put MP7, PDW, Vector 10, uh, we'll go for Peacekeeper, and then we'll have, say, three perk ones for our perk one, two, and three slot, and we'll just go with, you know, a perk one greed. So now if I look at my class, you can see I've got three perk ones for perk one, two, and three slots, and I've got four weapons. I've got my lethal and tactical are set to weapons instead of, uh, you know, normal equipment. So if I go into a game here, I should have access to basically four guns. Let's go ahead and force host just to get into a game a bit quicker here. Okay, so custom class one. There we go. Oh, somebody's using the jiggy menu. By the looks of things. So many modders on this game, it's ridiculous. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, if I change weapon, there's my second weapon. Third weapon. And fourth weapon. And that will work when you're not the host as well, because it's just your class, which is set to all these different weapons. As you can see. And I've got my three perk ones. So yeah, there you go. So that's another thing that we added into the Black Ops 2 tool. Okay, so another thing we added in one of the previous updates is the IP spoofer. So this will allow you to spoof your IP address, your public IP address and your port number um, so that people using RPC tools to grab your IP address, like Call of DDoS, that kind of thing, you know, any kind of RPC tool that grabs your IP address, um, it will be, you can spoof your IP address with this IP spoofer so that uh, they won't get your real IP address and port if they're trying to dox you or DDoS you. Um, it will not protect you against actual network protocol analyzers um, because they grab the IP from the actual network information whereas RPC tools grabs grab it from memory. Um, so this will spoof your IP address in memory so that RPC tools can't um, get your real IP. So here's how it works. So all you have to do is basically click the IP spoofer and then Click OK as soon as you start start searching for a match. So I'm starting to search for a match here, so I click OK and IP spoofing is enabled. So now when I go and open up the network sniffer and look at my my IP address. So I get clients. You can see that my external IP is spoofed to 1.33.33.7. My online port is 1337 instead of the actual online port. So that information is spoofed. Now, it doesn't spoof the local IP address because at the end of the day, that's worthless information anyway. Um, it's not like, you know, somebody can't dox you, dox you based on your local IP. That would be ridiculous. Um, but it does, of course, spoof the things that matter, which are, of course, your external IP and your online port, which can be used to DDoS you or dox you. And that will protect you from that. So one thing that will happen though is after you've been in the game and you go back and you back out to the main menu, it will kick you out with this error message. It does this on all CODs um, and then when you try and go back in, it will keep throwing you back out. And that's just because it doesn't like the fact that you have a spoofed IP. So all you have to do is just click the button again and that will disable spoofing so that you can get back into the, to the main menu. And then from the main menu, if you want to spoof again, of course, you just do the same thing. So start searching for a match and then click OK and it will start spoofing. So that is basically the IP spoofer and you will find that in all CODs. So another thing we've added is 32 character gamer tag. So I can set a really, really long gamer tag here. And as you can see, it sets in the game. So let's do modded warfare one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. That's way more than 15 characters. And as you can see, it sets in the game full 32 character gamer tag from the mod tool. And you can also have additional, you know, gamer tag options as well. You can customize the colors. You can go ahead and do auto update. So whatever you type will instantly kind of add in game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, it all adds up there. Set this back. 
Uh, jerk off gamer tag. I mean, something we added in one of the previous updates. People are, people request this stuff, okay? Uh, and then also, uh, let's see. We've also got you know multicolored name, so you can do that. Sets it to multicolored name, and also loop message. So if I edit loop message, this allows you to add a custom message that it will cycle. The game will cycle through. So I could do you know something like I don't know. Hey guys, and then we'll do welcome to my modded lobby, and then we'll do enjoy or something. There we go, something cringy like that. And we'll go ahead, and if I click test, you can see it actually running in real time. So it cycles through the message, so hey guys, welcome to my modded lobby. Oh, I didn't mean for those to be the same color. Oh well. Three. Three is yellow, right? Should be. Hey guys, welcome to my modded lobby. Enjoy. Yeah, there you go. So you can customize the, the speed of that as well. So this is in one tenth of a second, so 10 is one second. So I could put it up to 20, so that cycles through every two seconds. So you go, hey guys. Welcome to my modded lobby, so it cycles through a lot slower. Or you can speed it up and go down to, you know, 5, which is half a second. And then that'll be a lot faster. Hey guys, welcome to my modded lobby. Blah, 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 blah. Very, very fast, as you can see. And you can customize it. So personally, 10, I think 1 second is, is decent. So, and then you can click Save. And now that it's saved, whenever I want to access that message again, I can just check the loop message box, and it will start playing my, my message. So that's pretty nice and also what you can do is of course do this in game as well um, again something from one of the previous updates so if I go into a game here so here we are in the game here and I can do exactly the same thing in the client modifications so I can double click my name edit client gamer tag and again I can you know put jerk off gamer tag and it'll start there you go starts doing that um, you can also of course do auto update as well so, modded warfare. It's not as fast in game. It doesn't refresh as quickly, um, but you can do that. And you can also play your looped message as well. Hey guys, welcome to my modded lobby, and it will cycle through it. So you can do that as well. Okay. So, and we'll just set client gamer tag. And also, we've also done basically the same thing. Now, th this functions exactly the same for all CODs as well. It's not just Black Ops 2. Even the 32 character gamer tag we've actually added for Black Ops 1. So if I go into here, I don't actually have Black Ops 1 added as a quick launch, surprisingly enough. Let's go to USB 0, BO1. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the game. That's going to start Black Ops 1 multiplayer. And I'll also go ahead and add this XCX file to quick launch. So BO1, add to quick launch. And then when I close it, you can see it, that it's downloaded the correct image for the game as well, which is pretty cool. So here we are on Black Ops 1. So I'm going to do the same thing. Go player match. Here's my gamer tag right there, and I'm going to go ahead and open up the Black Ops 1 tool. Do exactly the same thing. Spoof gamer tag. Uh, let's do modded warfare. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Set gamer tag, and boom! There you go. You can see it's changed to, you know, a 32 character gamer tag, which you normally can't do on Black Ops 1, but we have added that for Black Ops 1 as well. And again, exactly the same options to uh, for colors. You can do multicolored name. There you go. You can do so. You can also do you know auto update and jerk off gamer tag and even your same looped message will play across all CODs as well. And in game, just like in Black Ops 2. And just like in pretty much anything, including Modern Warfare 3. If we just hop on here super quick, 
open up the Modern Warfare 3 tool. There's Modern Warfare 3, Clients, Spoof Gamer Tag. And we'll do Spoof Gamer Tag, yes. As soon as it fetches online profile, loop message, and it starts playing through my loop message on Modern Warfare 3. So it'll work across all CODs, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's essentially what we've added in the latest updates for Apparition Net Studio. Um, Give Juggernaut in MW3 is also pr a pretty cool thing that um, wasn't working in one of the older updates. We patched it, we fixed it again in an older in an update a couple of months ago. But again, I never made a video covering any of that stuff. So, so this will work. I just force hosted to get into a game because I don't have gold, which it won't let you join public matches. I don't believe unless you have gold. Uh, so anyway, I can give Juggernaut. This will work off host. And as you can see, it gives me full juggernaut. So when you're not host, you can activate that as well. And of course, since we're just in a game right now, just to reiterate the... Oh, crap, we only got 18 seconds. We can go ahead and, you know, do this in-game as well for Modern Warfare 3. And we can play our loop message. Welcome to my mod lobby. Enjoy. So it works across all CODs again, just to reiterate. So... So yeah, that's basically it. That's the latest updates for Apparition Net Studio. You got 32 character gamer tag for BO2 and BO1, plus all the other you know gamer tag options that's that have been added in there for in-game plus lobby. You've also got the whole tool updated to 17526. Of course, I should have said that at the start. So XUID spoofing works, uh, stat spoofing on BO2, all that stuff is is back up and running on 17526, I believe is the update. Yeah. 17526. We've also of course got our updated quick launcher which automatically downloads the images for the games that you add and of course Black Ops 2 all client stats which is the big one and even some additional options some people were asking us to add a reconnect button just in the launcher which is quicker than accessing it through the console manager so we've added that we've also added some you know shutdown reboot options just right in here so if I want to dashboard I can just click dashboard and that'll put me back to the dashboard that's just an error message with Xbox Live slash XP Online right there. So you can also get a one, don't forget you can also get your one week trial of XP Online time uh, when you buy a copy of Apparition Net Studio. Uh, basically all you have to do is log into the user panel once you've created your account and you can redeem the token from within there. You just have to make sure the CPU key of your console is the same as the one that you've got in your account uh, and then you'll be able to uh, generate a token and then redeem it on that console. So yeah, that's basically it. That's uh, the latest updates to Apparition Net Studio. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. The purchase link to the software will be linked in the video description. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.